guys, welcome to my latest video. So in today's video, uh, thanks to the collaboration and help of Acefire, um, I'm bringing you another great game. Um, I'm bringing you this tutorial. Uh, it's going to uh, teach you how do you assemble a Battlefield Play for Free uh, server. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit about this game. Uh, if you don't know uh, what the fact Battlefield Play for Free is, if you go to Wikipedia, it was a game that it was originally intended to be a play for free, uh, you know, uh, uh, to be played online without the need of purchasing the game, but using uh, some microtransactions and stuff, probably to buy cosmetics or weapons. If this was a service uh, released uh, from EA, uh, not only in, with this game, also Battlefield Heroes, uh, which was a Battlefield uh, game, uh, you know, um, themed after World War II, but with with a much more childish, uh, you know, thematics. Also, Need for Speed World and FIFA World. All these games uh, were re released, or at least uh, Battlefield Play for Free was released in uh, April 2011, and they all went offline offline in July 2015. So this is one of the many reasons why I. I um I'm basically a LAN fanatic, so um, this is just one of of many uh, examples on why it's important to have a LAN functionality on games, because sooner or later these big companies such as EA or whatever company that makes a game that it doesn't have bots and um, you know it forces you to be dependent on their master servers. Once their their uh, master servers go down or they go offline, you're pretty much fucked because you are always depending on these guys, and the game just turns obsolete. You, it, it 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 turns unplayable. Um, same goes for Battlefield Three and Battlefield Four, which are great games. That there are still some servers online nowadays, but obviously not a lot of people play it. You can still find some servers with play with players. But not as obviously as uh, a few years back when the when those two games were new. Sooner or later, these guys will decide to turn the servers off, and the game will, you know, be uh, it will essentially be obsolete because these games, Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four, and all their newer versions, such as the new Battlefield One or Battlefield Five, they don't have bots, so uh, and they don't have LAN. So you can't really create a server, and you can't really enjoy it with bots, such as um, you know in the past that we were able to with Battlefield 2 or the old Battlefield games. So uh, this is just one of the examples on why it's important to have a game compatible with LAN. So um, we're gonna we're gonna start with this project. This project uh, is actively actively being developed by uh, a couple of people. Uh, that made this project possible. So uh, they basically took the, you know, the 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 basically reverse engineered as always as with all of these projects, the server to make a uh, you know a dedicated server from scratch and be able to play the game. Of course, this game uh, server is not one hundred percent complete. It lacks a lot of functionality. It's not as cool as the Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4 server emulators out there or Bad Company 2. But still, it's playable and you can still play it online and in LAN. The bad thing is that it's very primitive. It does have some issues. Um, but, uh, you know, the important thing is that you at least you can play it. So, um, I'm going to teach you how to do this. So first, uh, we're going to go into your computer. Uh, we're going to go into C unit, we're going to go into uh, Windows, we're going to go into System32 folder, go into Drive, Drivers, and we're going to go into etc. folder. As always, you will be able to locate your host file. So uh, make sure to disable the antivirus first because uh, most of the antiviruses nowadays don't want you to, uh, you know, modify this, this file. Just make a copy inside you you know the desktop you have something like this and what you're gonna do is actually um, you know edit this and um, you you wanna have to add all these different uh, you know uh, addresses 
don't worry because uh, I will leave this uh, a host file already um, made. So I'm going to copy it. This is going to be the pack. I'm going to leave the pack already made here. So uh, you will be able to, uh, to just copy and paste it without the need of, you know, adding every single one of these addresses. The thing is that you have to modify this with whatever IP you have your local IP or your uh, 127001 IP. So in my case, the local IP I have and I use is this one. Pro most likely, if you use a router and stuff, you'll have a different IP. So just put the, your local IP that, that you actually use here or just 127001. So once you do that, those modifications, just copy it inside your etc. driver, overwrite it, and you are pretty much ready to go with the host file. So now the, first, the, other, the other thing that we're going to do is go into the folder of the, of the server and the game itself. Uh, remember, the, the game client and the server are included in the same, in the same folder. Uh, what you're going to do is first uh, create a, a, you know, a player to use. So we're going to go into HTML, go to M menu WB, and uh, open a notepad and just drag the hack.js here. And here you'll, you'll uh, you know, add it. Um, you'll notice this little line that says function hack join. Um, this is important because you want to, um, you know, uh, edit it with whatever player you want to use. So um, there's already a couple of players included inside the game. Player A, player B, player C, and player D. So um, if, if you're going to play this game, just uh, leave it alone because player A is okay. If a friend of yours is going to join your game, just change it into player B or player C or player D, whatever. So we're going to just leave it in player A. Um, so we're going to just close it. And uh, another thing you're going to do is going to go into your um, mods folder. We're going to go into main and we're going to go into settings. And here you'll be able to um, edit this little map list con. And here you'll be able to identify the different uh, map list with all the maps. And um, just make sure to select whatever map you want to play first. Uh, just uh, drag it in, in the top of the list like so, and then just save it. And the game, for example, Sharky, is going to be the first one. But in my case, it's just going to leave a Strike at Karkon first, um, because it's my favorite map. Also. So once you decided which map you want to launch and, and the user, uh, username is correctly configured, we're just going to open the VF. P4 launcher and WV here. So uh, here uh, you'll be able to uh, put whatever IP you want to use. If you are using, if you're planning on test, just testing this uh, thing inside the same computer, just use one two seven zero zero one. But if you're planning on hosting a server with players inside your local area network, just put your local IP. In my case, it's gonna be like this because also this IP. The, the, the IP that goes here should be the same that the, the same IP that goes into your host file. Just remember that. So uh, this is going to be our local IP of our local computer. And that's going to host the server. Once you do that, just uh, click in the start backend. Um, you'll see that the redirector is going to be executed. The Blaze server is going to be executed. Uh, and the, also the web server is going to be executed. And once you do that, just start the server. Just make sure that your player, as we talked before, a, B, C, and D is accorded to goes according to your config previously made. So now we're going to start the server here. Just click in OK and uh, wait a couple of seconds. The server is going to launch. In if everything works perfect, uh, you should be able to see some couple of extra codes here, extra lines, and you should be able to see loaded 100% here. So once you see that, just uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, we are able to click in the client and we will be able to join the server. So uh, here the game client is going to be launched. Um, so far I think there's no way to change the resolution of the game. We're going to go into Equip Soldier, Equip Test, one click. Join game, play by player name. Now we jump. Okay, so we 
we just waited a couple of seconds until we are joining to the server and here you can see that we are inside the game with an assault rifle and uh, the pistol and the knife ammo give me some yeah, ammo I need assistance ASAP So as you were able to appreciate, um, we were able to create a game, the game server and join the game just fine. So the other computers, obviously, as we talked before, they only have to have their hosts edited with the local IP of the computer that's actually hosting the server. So just remember that. So in this case, if you're planning on people joining your server locally, just uh, give them the host file already edited with the local IP of the server that's actually hosting this, this server and just spread this host file to all the other computers. Uh, all the other computers also will have to type the same local IP of, of the server computers, stuff like this. And uh, they obviously don't have to start back in and they don't have to start the server. They'll have to just start the client. And um, if everything goes okay, they should be able to enter the game. Also remember to open a wide range of ports uh, in your, inside your router uh, so that uh, people will be able to join without any trouble. Also, this uh, method always, um, also works uh, theoretically in online. So just make sure to do the same, but instead of the local IP, just use the online IP, so the external IP. So the host file should be edited with whatever I, external IP you have, I don't know, uh, like like something like like this maybe and then just put the external IP in all the lines in the host of all the computers and uh, then just put the external IP uh, I think that if computer that is actually hosting the server uh, just by using the local IP will work fine uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, this is a way to play this game Keep in mind, it's obviously not finished. It has a lot of stuff still going on that needs to be upgraded. But overall, it's a nice progress. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you understood this tutorial. As always, you will be able to uh, download the files by going to gravisoftnet.com. And um, yeah, I'm going to the forum. And here you will be able to register. Just wait for the email confirmation. And once you're inside the forum, just click in Hugging Games. And you will be able to find the thread about the game. So, uh, yeah. See you next time. I hope you like this video. Bye.